Why? Because I just tried yeah. to be chastity. Even thinking about it, it's a nowadays society, you can't do this. So what is it? You know, I like to take a shoe and pick it up and do some tiny things. Why would you pick up a shoe? Uh, no. <laughs> no, babe. Trying to choke me, you know. Let's do this intro. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know this channel, this segment here is a little different than what I normally do, but that's because I get to have my lovely friend and co-host with me, my hubby. Um, so we're gonna do something a little different. You'll see these segments. We're gonna try to get them out once a week on Thursdays. Um, and what time we say? Five, six, seven. Give me a, a I'll let y'all know somewhere in the in the screenshot when these will be posted or before this airs when it'll be posted. But this is Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Um, we will talk about healthy relationships, helping build healthy relationships. Um, when either if it's in marriage, um, if it's at work, if it's with children, parents. Religion, what else say? Other areas of relationships. Life. Just life relationships, pretty much. Life issues that come up. Life issues that come up. And we um we just want to share with you guys just a little bit of like our insight on things. Um we're not experts per se at life, um, but we've lived a lot of it and we feel like we've got a lot to share that we can offer so we figured why not share and offer it you know why keep it all to ourselves why not give out what we can um this is I'm tyrone tyrone or t, I'm t. Uh, so he this is t and of course y'all know me i'm shanti speaks but for this segment i'm tay um so again this is pillow talk with t and tay and we will be discussing building healthy relationships in all aspects of life, as he said. Um, just to introduce ourselves, I'll go first. I'm a little more comfortable in the camera. We're getting him ready for this, right, babe? You are getting me ready. Okay. He, he got this. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's well, you me? He said he's ready. So he's ready. So I'll go first, though. Um, so again, you guys, like you said, you know me. Those who have watched me for a very long time have been on this YouTube thing for two years now, so a long time, right? Um, for two years now, but this is something new for me to be able to do it with someone alongside of me. I've been on camera by myself. Um, I haven't been as consistent, but that is changing. Um, a little bit about me. My name is Shawanika. My middle name is Shante, which is why I go by Tay a lot. Um, I usually don't share that with everybody that my middle name is, well, that um, Tay comes from that, or I say Tay is my family nickname. But that is a name that I go by a lot, so that's why my name is Tay. Um, I've been married to this wonderful man for seven years, be eight years this year. Happy New Year. Wow. <laughs> eight years, and we've been together 10 years this, uh, this August. Yes, 10 years this August we've been together. And I can say that I truly married my best friend. We have... Uh, lived a lot of things in these last two years it's going on a decade y'all and i still smile every morning when i get up and see this man and excited to have this man in my life so um we just want to share our love and just our thoughts and topics with you guys and kind of go from there all right all right y'all know i'll talk a lot and ramble so i'll, I'll let him get a word in edge wise it's truly how it is edge wise uh -huh. i know it's all good though i mean it's just We'll see where we go with this. Uh, can't divulge everything, but we're going to divulge things that uh, hopefully help you out as well as help ourselves out or mm -hmm. even help us as long as we go um, through our topics. That's how it will go. You want to tell the viewers a little bit about who you are? Um, well, I don't like, I mean, I always, I'll let that be known over time. I mean, you know, I can come out on some topics that we have. True. Yeah. So true. But as, they, as you said already, I'm husband to your, you know, to you and uh, the lovely uh, wife uh, that you are. So, and you are. I'm lovely. Yeah, you're lovely. <laughs> so we are like, 
Um, he's my what you call what we call it? Oh, um, anchor. Yeah, he's like my anchor, uh, or uh, he's my um, he's he's like my diffuser, because I'm like a little fireball, <laughs> full of energy, a lot. Um, unless I'm having a bad day, you'll know when I'm having a bad day because I'm not energetic, not happy, not bubbly, not myself. But when I'm having good days, like I'm full of energy, and he's like that calm spirit that's like, I need you to relax, babe. I need you to breathe, I need you to calm down. And I appreciate that because not many people in my past have been able to calm me down. So I'm grateful for my lovely husband to do so. So thank you, sir. Thank you for letting me be me. You're welcome, man. So, yes. Um, his temperament is a very calm temperament unless you push him. So, he's very calm. He's not real quiet, though. He has a lot to talk about. So, thanks. And would you know, when you're recording, things go where they go. Where they go. This is life. We plan to be as natural about this as possible. We're just talking to y'all, sharing with y'all as much as we can. Um, about different things in life and how things go. So um, stay tuned. The topics will vary from, um, like we talked about, every aspect of life that comes up that a lot of people don't like to talk about, but should talk about, and you know, just our viewpoints on it. And um, we have the comments open on these videos so that way you guys are able to leave your comments and your thoughts on stuff. And if you've got questions, fire away. Um, we're going to have segments where we will answer questions for you guys about different things that you guys ask us in the comments or that may come up um, that needs to be addressed. Um, that's that's us and sure. what we're going to be doing. Um, so stay tuned for more to come. Today we want to talk about how we felt when we first met mm -hmm. each other. And I know it's been over 10 years, well, been right at 10 years since we, since that first day, but let's, that, I, I won't even call that first day, we'll just say within that first month, right. first month, because it was two weeks before we actually talked, talked to each other, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll go first, or unless you want to go first, you want to go first? I can go, I can go a little bit on it, and then you can hang off of that. Okay. Um, so we're just telling you guys pretty much how we felt when we first met each other and how we came together as a union. Like what all transpired within this two week window. Yeah, yeah I won't say, I'll just start at the beginning. It was a matter of actually relatives introduced us. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> my brother is married to her cousin. She's my first cousin. So, you know, before you think anything was wrong with that, I, you know, I got permission and asked um, my grandmother and then also asked her grandmother and grandfather and her parents. But I went to both of them before, uh, later on and asked for permission. See? But prior to that, <laughs> before you get started. Oh, wow. Well, because I'm excited. That, it was a matter of, um, we were both at the crossroads where we had dated and had relationships and we were frustrated uh, and tired with uh, meeting the same people mm -hmm. and uh, just people that weren't on our frequency and are you know on the same page however you say it mm -hmm. and um, it, it was just really overwhelming at times but then uh, as our faith and uh, would have it we both uh, came across one another and got to talking on the phone and uh, Long story short, we had a lot in common, and uh, then we found out we are really about everything that we talk about. And meaning, you do what you say you're going to do, and not just talk about what you're going to do. You really follow it through. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave it on that note for my wife to pick up and get on that. But before we go further into there, yeah. tell me when you first met me, how you felt or what you thought when you first met me. First, first met me. As far as that you would, would, would just the, the was, whole thing. Uh, <laughs> Go over the whole thing. Oh wow, I was hesitant. I was. Uh, we met at a party. First of all, it was a birthday party, and uh, they, you know, kept different people would tell me, you know, that she, that's Shawana. I'm like, okay, all right, cool, you know. But, they said that's Tay. Yeah, they would say Tay. I'm sorry, I said Shawana. <laughs> they would say Tay, and I was like, okay. You know, and then, but I was looking and I was really uh, concerned because uh, 
there was a, a gentleman that she was with, you know, you know, but she really wasn't with him, uh, you know, but it was just not coming off to me like, hey, you know, she was totally available that day, you know, so I was like, okay, hey, I'm just going to lay back and, you know, observe everything, which I always do. I just don't rush things uh, because, one, you get to the season that I am and you just say, hey, I don't need to, you know, rush it. Not that I'm, you know, arrogant about it. It's just that I don't need to rush it. Um, plus, I had, you know, a, a daughter at home. Uh, you know, I was very, um, what do you want to say, careful about mm -hmm. who I brought, mm -hmm. you know, around my daughter. Yeah. But I would uh, go ahead and... Uh, Okay. And I was very careful about having uh, anyone come around my daughter. And so I was really hesitant, you know, and then uh, I, like I said, just be, played it safe and was careful. So I waited and uh, later on, we, she found, she called me, Shante called me. And when she called me, I, you know, let her know in the conversation why I didn't approach her because I thought that the gentleman that was with her was with her. And uh, she took, explained, she said that was her brother. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know, that's cool, you know, but I didn't know. And so I didn't, you know, make no uh, advances towards her or anything like that. But at the same time, uh, I might have made an advance after, you know, uh, we made conversation. But it, it's, been, it's been a journey for myself. And like I said, having a daughter at home, a teenage daughter at that, I was very uh, cautious and careful about who I brought around uh, her. and. Uh, wanted to be uh, on the same page and making sure that it was safe. That's all. Okay. I love your story. I um, love how, you know, we all have our own perspectives of, of the story oh, yeah. and how we met. Yeah. So I really love, like, hearing your viewpoints on how, how it felt when we first met each other. Um, okay, so my perspective of how I felt when I met, first met him and how it all went down. Again, like we said, um, we met through mutual acquaintances where his brother, again, is married to my first cousin. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Appreciate the hookup. It's been great. Thank you. Um, and yes, been fabulous. Yes, yes. Um, we, we met at her party and initially I wasn't, I wasn't sure which sibling I was meeting. Cause I was trying to figure out like which one I was like, but because there were two brothers that were there and I was trying to ask him like, which brother are you referring to? And when they said which one it was and they said it was him, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So it was like, um, that tall, dark and handsome. I was like, wow. Cause before, let me, let me backtrack just a little bit before we actually got to meet each other, I was hesitant. And I was adamant about I'm done because I had just dealt with some of the craziest relationships, a crazy relationship right prior to meeting him. And I was over it. I was over men, people. I just wanted to be by myself, to figure out myself, to understand who I was as a person. And because getting in different, getting in the relationship that I was in, and I had been in that one for, you know, almost 10 years as well, but it was. It was not nothing near as beautiful as this has been. Um, but I was I was at a point in my life where I was like, I'm done with dating people. I'm just, I'm going to date myself. Me and God going to get together. We're going to hang out. And that was my focus. I was just like, no, I don't, I don't, I'm tired of dating men. I don't want anybody older. I don't want anybody younger. I don't want to date nobody. I don't want a girl. I want a boy. I want nothing. I was done. I was at a point where I just was like, no. And my cousins were like, and my aunt, cousin and aunt, they were both in this together. They were all in this together. They were like, no, just meet him. Get to know him. You know, he's a great guy. And in the back of my head, I'm like, he's going to be just like everybody else. All good looking, nice and charming. Get me in, reel me in, and then hurt me and tear me down. Um, needless to say, I was wrong. Um, he has been the best thing that has entered my life. Um, these past 10 years, and I can't ask God to give me anybody better to do life with. You know, I thank God for the blessing of him and our friendship, our relationship, our commitment and connection we have with each other. I thank him, I thank God for our prayer life that we have. You know, I'm just, I'm just truly grateful and blessed and honored to have him in my life because I almost missed him. 
because yeah, I was, you know, I was so adamant about not having someone in my yeah. life. He came over to that pool table while me and my brother was playing pool and he spoke and, and then so he had the voice. So this is for my ladies who are listening. He had the stature. He had the handsome face. Then he had the voice like, oof. And it was just like, wow. And everything I was thinking about now, I wanted to date anybody else that just went out my head was gone, but I was still hesitant. It took me two weeks. Now he said I called him. Now, I'm not the type of person who is, um, what's the word? You know, women that are fool, that I'm not the type of person that will approach somebody. That, that's so not me. I'm like used to being approached by people. So I wasn't the type of person that would go after someone and talk to them, but something in me said, you can make the first move. It's okay. So I want to, I think either his brother called me and was like, are you going to call him today? I can give you, I was like, just give me his number. And I was like, I'll call him. I'll let you call him. So it took me still yet another few more days before I reached out to him when I got his number. But when I did call him, I remember the day, like it was yesterday, we called, it was what, August 1st, 2012. And we talked all day, all night into the morning. He got ready for work. I think we talked while he was at work that day. And we just kind of like, like we've known each other all our lives. And that's how it's felt since we've been together. Like we've known each other all our lives. So it's, it's been a beautiful ride. Nothing's perfect. I mean, it's just, just generally how it is. Nothing's perfect. But it has been a beautiful ride. And I, again, I'm just grateful to have you I mean, I'm to do it with. So. I wouldn't have any other way. No? No other way? Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> so that is the story of how we met um, and just kind of like our love story and how we were feeling and understood, just truly honestly like how things were going. Um, stay tuned. We will have more to talk about in the weeks to come. So stay tuned. We will be talking about um, parenting. Um, we'll be talking about how we keep our relationship as good as it is. Um, <laughs> we'll be talking about a little bit of everything as life goes on. Um, just want to share with you our insight about the different topics and things that come up. So um, definitely make sure you stay tuned. Um, it will be somewhere either at the beginning or the end of this or before this airs, um, telling you when we will post. And we plan to post on time, so stay tuned. Get your Sales in position and get ready to sit down and just really be fed uh, with our insight about different things. Um, we are working on a few other projects, and as those projects come to pass, we will share that with you guys as well. So stay tuned. Anything else you got, T? No. No? How would you like to end it? Uh, we just hope everyone stays safe. Yes. Uh, during this challenging time. Yes. Yes. But, Nothing great comes without a challenge. Man. I always remember that. And so we just keep going through it together and we'll be all right. There you go. Do, do something kind, as another uh, YouTuber tells me. And don't go messing with somebody else. <laughs> My like name, Tab. I like the Brown, if like you're that. listening. Even I'm listening. He's you know, listening man, too. And, uh, <laughs> he's in the guy. And I like it. And uh, that's so true. You know, we got to treat everyone right. Amen. And, uh, um, I think a friend of mine said, too much is given, much is required. So God gave us this beauty of a relationship, but it also requires a lot of work, a lot of effort on our part um, to keep it beautiful, to keep it happy, to keep it prosperous. So um, we will continue to be those people, um, continue to um, be good stewards over what God has blessed us with, be good stewards over our marriage, our home, our children, our life our temples and just do all we're called to do. But that's it for Pillow Talk with TNT today. Um, join us again next week for more topics, more talk for Pillow Talk with TNT. Right. We'll see you guys then. All right. Have a good one. Bye. See you. Don't be, don't be a hater. You don't talk to me. What's she, what's she thinking? A wishful thinking? <laughs> One day, one day, I'm gonna have my heels on top of these. That's for sure. <laughs> Why we had to go all the way there first before I could be taller than you? You said that was it. I'm not much taller than you. I'm not.
That's not a good place for me. I'm gonna put my hand. You put your hand in it. I wasn't done with it. You want water? Yeah. I'm comfortable. comfortable. I have my water. I'm very comfortable. You ready? Yeah, I put my wife gave me the crumbs out of my mouth. I was gonna give the crumbs out. It was just up my snack. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. You know what that food is about. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. But not on me. I lick you. I lick you. <clears throat>